Welcome to this Morpheus Minute on the Instance Details page. In this video, we will briefly cover the facets of looking at an instance in Morpheus. To begin, let's open up an Instances Details page by going to Provisioning, Instances, and clicking on an instance. From here, we can edit the instance during or after provisioning using the Edit button. If an attribute cannot be edited either due to permissions or something with the instance, the attribute will be in a solid gray box. The Actions dropdown gives options to perform on the instance, such as starting or stopping the instance, opening the console, as well as other actions. There are several sections within an instance page that provide capabilities to the user. The Summary tab provides basic information, stats, and status information and some instance types support custom configuration settings. For example, MySQL presents the my.ini, and that will be shown in a Settings tab. The Resources tab shows VMs, containers, or other resources associated with the instance. Some instance types will not have resources and the tab is not displayed. The Runtime tab allows you to view the environment variables presented to the instance or exported to the instance via apps. Users may also see imported environment variables that may be referenced by the running instance. The Storage tab allows you to see storage information associated with the instance, including the list of volumes and controllers which are associated with each machine that makes up the instance. The Network tab is useful for configuring network interfaces for your VMs or security groups, which allow access to the instance. The Monitoring tab shows a quick summary of the monitoring system and all checks that were configured to test the state of the instance. The Backups tab shows a quick backup dashboard which is useful for viewing historical backups and snapshots, as well as adding new backup jobs. The History tab allows you to see historical information related to automation which has been run against the instance. This is useful for examining automation which was run as part of a phase of a provisioning workflow. Users can also drill into the workflows to examine individual tasks, including viewing the output from these tasks to confirm successes or troubleshoot issues. The Costing tab shows invoices pertaining to the instance, the Console tab allows you to access the instance or container via a clientless console supporting SSH, RDP, VNC, and even hypervisor-level remote consoles. The final tab is the Wiki tab, which allows you to view or edit the current wiki page for this instance. The Content field supports markdown formatting. Hopefully, this brief overview of an instance's details page in Morpheus was helpful. If you have any questions, please see our documentation linked below. Thank you.